It is not every day that somebody feels for fish soup, okay? I was feeling for fish soup, so I made some. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Martin Chella. Today's video, like I said, we are going to be making soup and I will be showing you all my delicious ingredients that went into this delicious pot of soup right here, okay? Let's get into it. So these are the ingredients laid out here, okay? We're going to start off on this side right here. So I have everything laid out here. I have the black pepper and salt right here. I have the flour here that I'm going to be making the dumpling with. In this bag right here, I have the garlic. This is the yam, okay? And that's the uh, Jamaican sweet potato. I have my carrot, my thyme, and I have a piece of pumpkin right here that I'm also going to be putting in there. I have onion, two kinds of onions, the green and the white onion and I have the fish tea okay that is going to be bringing in that flavor and this is my fish okay the fish uh, that I decided to go with was the grouper steak this is the one that I decided to go with of course you're going to be needing a little bit of uh, vinegar to wash this fish nice and clean before you get started with it okay so I just washed the uh, steak the fish steak with some cold water and a little bit of vinegar just to get that, that fishy mugginess feel out of the fish. And then what I did is I brought it to the stove. Now, the, the way that I'm doing it right here with the, um, with the, uh, steak right here, you don't necessarily have to do it like this, but because I don't like that extra fishiness, um, kind of like effect to my fish i don't know how to explain it but this is why i take all of those steps with my fish like i said you don't have to do it this way a lot of times when people just prep their fish they just go ahead and get the process started so i went ahead and cleaned up everything and cut up everything that's what you saw right there and i'm gonna go get go ahead and get started on my steak so i brought them into a pan and I sprinkled a little bit of salt into it and I cut up a piece of butter in this pan right here. Now the pan is on. What the, the salt and the butter, I just want that flavor to kind of like um, start cooking the fish. I'm not cooking it fully like deep frying it or anything like that. But what I'm looking for is just to drain out that extra fish water that is usually inside the steak. As you can see, it's gonna start coming out very, very soon. So I was making this fish soup for the entire family. And the fish choice that I went with, I went with this fish because it doesn't have like a lot of like small little bones. And it was easy for me to pick them out as I am cooking. So I chose the uh, the grouper steak here. So they, they're just easier. It has a lot of meat to it. That's the reason why I chose this fish. Now you can choose the fish, um, any fish of your choice that you prefer in your soup to make your fish soup. But this is the one that I chose simply because it's easy for me to pick up these pieces while I am prepping for the family. Okay, so now I have everything on the side here. Like I said, everything here is prepped and ready to go. And this is how the fish ended up being, okay? I just picked out all of the bones and this was the remaining of those two steak pieces right here. And so they have a little bit of salt and butter to it. In the water right here, I have put all of um, the provisions here. So I put the dumpling, I put the pumpkin, and that's just going to be boiling. Once I brought it to a boil, I also dropped in some pimento seeds in there as well for a good flavor in the water. Here is about a one quarter um of um garlic okay this is a minced garlic that was frozen that you guys saw in that bag I'm sorry and right here is all of the onion the thyme and the um the carrots that i'm going to be dropping in this water right here so this is my fish uh water the amount of water that i have in here this uh amount here i ended up using two of those uh, fish tea seasoning inside this pot right here 
And you normally start getting that nice color with the pumpkin that is inside. That's what's going to bring that rich color. Right now, it's still looking a little pale. Don't worry. Once it starts boiling and the thyme starts kind of, the flavors start merging together in there, you're going to get that nice look and that, um, that flavor as well. So I added these two um, seasoning tea flavors. I also added... A, a half a, t a teaspoon of black pepper so that is black pepper that I also added in there and then I'm also going to be dropping in my um, my dumpling inside of that don't you see how that deliciousness is coming together the soup is getting its color from that pumpkin right so the effect is officially kicking in so I'm going to drop in my dumpling here my husband feels like I make them super big um, but I like them that big so the fish I'm keeping for the end, like I said, it's more so kind of like a topper last minute there. And then I boil for a little bit and then it comes to an end. As you can see, the, the soup is all, like, all, like completely almost done. And when I add the fish, I don't mix it so much because I don't want the fish to break up into little, little bitty pieces. I kind of like those chunky pieces inside. I kind of like seeing chunky pieces in my soup. So timing everything and seeing when you drop it is um, super important. Again, this soup does not take super, super long. When you just start seeing one after the next step kind of moving forward, then you are good. Okay, look at that pot. It is looking delicious already. Around this time, this is the right time where you would be dropping in your um, your pepper, okay? Around this time, it would be a great time to drop in your pepper. But for me, I had to do it separately. Like I said, I was cooking this pot for the family. So I'm just showing you. You can drop it in now, but I put that only in my own cup. Uh, my own, uh, sorry, not cup, my own bowl. So right now, after this, putting in the fish here, it came to a complete boil and this is what it is looking like. If you enjoyed this soup dish with me today, do not forget to hit that like button for me and do consider subscribing. We're always having fun on this channel, guys. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me. I absolutely want to take back that feedback and give you guys a lot more of what you guys enjoy. Are you guys enjoying more of my cooking or my other vlogs that I've been sharing with you guys? So let me know down uh, in the comments down below okay and right now the soup is ready guys we are just serving it up okay we are serving it up this right here is my bowl okay I'm showing you all the ingredients and this is how it came out it was super delicious we enjoyed it the family enjoyed it thank you again also very much for watching don't forget to get to like and subscribe and i will see you guys all in the next one bye for now